Okay, so it seems like we've got quite a few attendees. Thank you so much for joining us and good morning to everyone. Uh, so my name is Jiri and I'm part of the solutions uh, department at IDX and I'll be taking you through this presentation. So feel free to grab a cup of coffee and just sit back and relax. So today's presentation is going to be a discussion on Anybus connectivity solutions and what's new on the Anybus market. Uh, so we'd like to take some of your questions at the end of the session. So So we'll cover uh, the presentation in 30 minutes and we'll touch base on network market shares for 2019 and 2020. We'll also have a look at technologies and how they will affect our future projects and planning. We'll talk more on new technologies and devices like the new communicator, the Anybus wireless bolt, the IoT and serial version. And we'll also move on to the infrastructure range from Anybus which is made up of routers and switches. Lastly, we'll have a live question and answer session. So if you can look to the top left, so, uh, excuse me, the top right corner of your screen and you'll see a question and answer tab. You can click on that and you can type in your questions and we'll be able to answer you and we'll also review the questions at the end of the session. So before we dig into the main agenda of the presentation, just for those of you who are not familiar with IDX, or you may only have used one aspect of the company offering, IDX stands for Industrial Data Exchange. We create customized solutions for your industrial IT needs and for your factory floor or plant-based networks. We are a proudly South African manufacturer of customized devices that are used around the world and we distribute products for our European suppliers in the Sub-Saharan Africa region. We also run an academy where we offer various protocol training and our services consist of audits, callouts, and a bit of system integration where needed. IDX partner with HMS and our distribution portfolio consists of Anybus, Intersys, and Exit. So today we're going to talk more on the Anybus portfolio and discuss the new releases. We also partner with Procentec, Kunbus, Profichip, Delta Logic, Teltonica, Kavaza and Warwick. So feel free to chat to us about our services and let's see how we can help you. So let's go into the details of the presentation. Let's talk about the network shares for 2019. So as you can see here, this covers the shares across field bus, industrial Ethernet systems and wireless technologies. It's clear to see that industrial Ethernet systems have grown to account for the majority of network shares and consumes 59% of all connections, while field bus has dropped to 35% and wireless has grown to 6%. However, the annual growth rate is important here, and we can see that Ethernet systems have grown to account for 20%, whereas wireless has grown from nothing to just 30%. We can see the 2020, uh, 2020 estimates, and this is based on the current market and adapted connections that we see today. So if you look at 2020, you can see that Philbus has now grown by 5% more, whilst industrial Ethernet systems have grown by 5% more, while Philbus systems have dropped by 5%. So Philbus systems are making way for industrial networks to now take over the technology. So what does this mean for us then, you might ask? Well, regardless of the current situation and state that we find ourselves in with Corona, and the world and its financial climate at the moment, we can still see a steady trend that shows positive growth in the industrial ethernet and wireless systems. 
We can also relate and draw some comparisons to connection methods like MQTT and OPC UA, which will now become more and more adapted to companies as they try to get their factory floors to the cloud space. With this in mind, devices and machines will continue to grow and adapt their systems to IoT solutions in Industry 4.0. And it, with this as well, you will see a growing cybersecurity network and secure lifespans and sustainability of your products. In the next phase the, of automation solutions, wireless connections will now remove a lot of cable that makes things light and easy on your factory floor. So an increased activity of wireless and cellular technologies are enabling for smart machinery. So this includes private LTE systems and even 5G networks now. So what does this mean then for field bus systems? Well, as you can see, field bus systems have reached their peak and they are now beginning the decline to make way for new technologies to enter the market. So with that in mind, let's kick off on the new products from the Anybus portfolio and we'll kick off with the Anybus communicator. So we'll look at production in, uh, product information and use cases on this product. So let's consider a factory floor. We have an e industrial ethernet system. Let's say it's the Allen Bradley, the famous ethernet IP system, communicating to a bunch of factory automated devices. But now I'd like to add a serial based device, and this is a barcode scanner. The two protocols do not communicate, so Anybus saw the gap here and they created the classic communicator. Now you have a device that can bridge the gap between your serial devices, like the barcode scanner, to your upper level network, the Ethernet IP network. The classic communicator opened up a world of protocols to the serial devices. So now you would have protocols such as Profinet and Profibus, the common ones, as well as some rare protocols like PowerLink and CCLink that can now have intercommunication with serial devices. So the new communicator had now has now been released. This is simply smaller, faster, and even more data capacity to meet today's and tomorrow's needs on your upper level networks. So the new communicator can be connected in RS-232 or 485 as a single drop or multi-drop system. Each device connected to the multi-drop system can be completely different, allowing you to have various different types of serial devices connected to one gateway. The new communicator is packed with fully loaded features, such as configuration on your integrated web page with step-by-step -step assistance, so users do not have to fumble around with cable and proprietary software to configure their devices. Now things can be configured directly through the communicator. The unit also offers a host of onboard diagnostic features, which will help configuration and integration, making it simpler and faster. Data transfer of up to 1,448 bytes in both directions are available on this communicator and it is protocol dependent. The communicator is powered by the HMS MP40 chip, and this means that it has longer life expectancy and it has guaranteed shelf time. With new security features such as secure boot and software authenticity, you will, be, you will have a trusted device in your network. Some other features include the 12 to 30 volt DC power supply, as well as galvanic isolated ports to prevent network signals damaging the communicator or your devices. The new communicator has an impressive operating temperature range from negative 25 degrees to positive 70 degrees. This allows it to comfortably work in almost all environments. There are two 
versions released to date, the Ethernet IP version and the Modbus TCP version, both communicating to Modbus RTU. Over the next 12 months, HMS plan to release various other versions that can adapt to ASCII, as well as Profinet and Profibus and all the other uh, protocols that you require. So here's some application use cases that we can see the communicator being used in in today's needs. So these are not limited to these applications, but we see a lot of these used in our factory floors. So connections to barcode uh, scanners and readers way scales, intelligent sensors, weather stations, and much more. Remember, these are not limited, so tell us about your application and we'll see how we can integrate an Anybus communicator into it. So with that in mind, we'll cross over to discussions on the wireless bolt range. And first up, we have the Anybus wireless bolt IoT version. The Anybus Wireless Bolt was released in 2016, and the initial release allowed for a wireless connection via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to your devices. With an IP66 or 67 exterior, and the interior was an IP20 connection. The interior connection offered Ethernet connection, and it was power over Ethernet, which meant that you were able to connect power and data from one connection. So now the Anybus Wireless Bolt joins the IoT space. This gives devices and machines or equipment an internet connection. This solution uses the latest LTE standards, MB IoT and CAT M1. It is a uh, suitable fix for both stationary and mobile devices or equipment. These new LTE standards are so-called LP WAN technology, which means low power wide area network, and it can adapt to all your new IoT use cases. This means low power consumption, low bandwidth, and provides a good geographical coverage with a low cost effect. To be globally effective, the Anybus Wireless Bolt IoT has 2G enabled as a fallback, which means this device could be deployed anywhere in the world with adaptations to the various technologies used there. So let's look at some use cases. Some ideal applications or use cases here are adaptations for standalone machinery applications to provide internet access to machines and devices? What about road signs and traffic signals, which require minimal to no cable connections? The Anybus Wireless Bolt IoT version can be used here. It can also be used and adapted to gas and water metering, smart burn systems, alarm systems, smoke and fire detectors, and even parking monitors. So the Anybus Wireless Bolt adaptation can now open up a world of new technologies and connections for your standalone devices. So we'll have a look now at the serial version. Remember, the form factor stays the same across the entire range. So in addition to this great form factor, the Anybus Wireless Bolt also offers you some general features and benefits. So the wireless connection is created using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and is compatible with standalone Wi-Fi infrastructure as well. So connections from third party routers can be allowed. But what's interesting to note is that you can bring your own device to the connection. So you can make connections to your mobile and your tablet or even your laptop. The Bolt supports fast roaming or high link speed and can support various protocol connections as well, like Ethernet and probably Profibus as well. Operating as both an access point 
and a client and can take up to seven client connections to one AP. In addition, some serial connection um, features such as connecting to various serial devices using RS-232 or 485, and it also supports various board rates as you see here. Some use cases for the Anybus wireless bolt serial version is to replace cable. So you can do a point-to-point -point cable replacement or you can go via serial to bolt to a wireless connection and then back to, to a bolt and then to your serial device. You can use a multi-bus connection, so a common bus using connections between multiple bolt devices. You can use the Anybus wireless bolt as a gateway or a router, creating a connection between Modbus TCP and RTU. And lastly, you can use this device to create a TCP IP socket to serial. So now we'll cross over to the infrastructure range, and this is made up of routers and switches. So this is another hot batch of devices on the market, and we'll kick off with the unmanaged level two switch. So the unmanaged level two switch is an eight gigabit high speed port, which is an industrial rated device. It has a mechanical ruggedized frame. It has ultra low power consumption and makes it energy effective. It also has power redundancy and supports dual power supply. There's also a managed level two switch in the portfolio. And this new level two managed switch has 12 gigabit high speed ethernet port offering with essential features such as wide operating temperatures and dual power supply and has a ruggedized frame. Features like port mirroring allow users to listen in on traffic on your data lines without breaking any connections, and also includes a port-based authenticity, which prevents any new nodes from being added onto your ethernet segment without authentication through the managed switch. HMS networks also supply wireless routers, and again, these are designed for industrial applications in mind, they are ruggedized frame and mechanically secure. These wireless routers are designed for global use in all countries and therefore support all available LTE and wireless LAN versions. Completing the industrial Ethernet infrastructure portfolio from HMS, we also have a selection of indoor and outdoor industrial access points. Amongst the many features, some highlight a meshing supported system and also has a wide temperature range, allowing it to operate in almost any environment. And this is just a brief introduction to your industrial Ethernet infrastructure portfolio. If you would like to find out more about these products, please feel free to have a chat to us. And you can also chat to us about any of your other solutions and issues and we'll be able to assist you.